Sharp here, the greatest judge to never judge, and today I have some CrossFit news for you. So if you've been on Instagram, you've probably seen it as a lot of the major CrossFit news type people have reported about it, but I just want to go look it over at Instagram uh, and see what happened at the Spanish Throwdown in the RX division this weekend. So here we are on, I'm going to say it wrong, but we'll go with Silone McCharcle Instagram page. Sorry if I butchered that. She's from Cork, Ireland. Um, she's a PE and uh, Irish teacher. And she went to obviously the Spanish throwdown and completed in the RX division. So she put this post up here, as you can see on the screen. Um, you can see here she's getting her number for the competition. And she says, last weekend I went to Madrid to take part in the Spanish throwdown. I took days off work, paid entry, flights, accommodation in order to take part in the competition, as do many other CrossFitters. From the start, there was a clear language barrier. However, little did I know that this would impact my weekend as much as it did. After a tough weekend, I went on to place uh, second. I spoke to the head judge who briefed me and all the athletes weekend in Spanish and English prior to each one. About the fact that the comp was two hours late, uh, that I had to leave straight away after the final in order to get her flight home. Uh, so I would miss the podium presentations. Uh, he took my name, email, and my phone number on his phone and agreed to contact me after the prizes had been sorted out. I went on to the final and finished um, in joint first, I guess to say, but after tiebreaker was sorted, she went down to second place. Delayed by my finish, I messaged the uh, Spanish story on Facebook page thanking, uh, thanking them for the weekend and asking them how I was going to receive my prize. Unfortunately for me, um, on landing in the Dublin airport, I got a picture of my prize and this was the caption, no podium, no prize. Even after messaging back and forth, I was sent a picture of the athlete guide where it says in small print that if the athlete doesn't stand on the podium, they won't receive their prize. I told them that I had been, never been informed of this, uh, pleaded with the organization, allowed somebody there to collect her prize that was in Madrid, but they refused. Uh, something I found very weird as a non-profit organization. Uh, for their competition, which is uh, striving to be part of the sanctional calendar next year, they are missing one key component. Uh, it just keeps on going down. So, and there's a couple other pictures here. Here she's at the competition. And we'll go take a quick look at what she said in her story on Instagram. So here's the picture. Could I get my second place winner sign? Also, please hang in the gym. Thank you. Lots of fun. And they said no podium, no prize. You need to read the regulations on the website. So let's just pop over to the website. Okay, so here we have the um, the website related to the Spanish throwdown and all the rules. Uh, if you go to number seven under the awards, prizes will be entered between 30 and 60 days after the end of the event. In the case you could advance any possible claim. It will be mandatory to go to the podium. So mandatory to go to the podium, finish the test, or uh, be competitive to be entitled to collect the cash prize. This is translated from Spanish to English. Um, and it goes on to say, if you're, if in case you're absent, basically you don't have any right to the cash prize, you don't have any right to the gift bag, only have right to the trophy. So that's where we sit. Now, basically, could this have been handled a lot better? This is the Spanish Throwdown um, Instagram page. They haven't come out. I reached out to them uh, through Instagram message just to see if they would uh, respond. Uh, I want to see what their side of this was because obviously they would have a side and the athlete would have a side. Uh, the rules clearly do state you have to be on the podium to get your cash prize. Could this have been handled better? Probably so. The Spanish Throwdown is not a sanctional event. Um, apparently they are looking to become a sanctional event so this is kind of not really good look on them. So they haven't said anything publicly about this yet. There's been a lot of comments from like people like Morning Chalk Up, Talking Elite Fitness, I think a lot of other athletes and stuff. There's actually a GoFundMe page. I, sorry if I get this wrong, I forgot to look it up. But I think it's the Morning Chalk Up with Noah Olson that started a GoFundMe page to get uh, this athlete her prize money. Um, I suspect that Spanish Throwdown will start to do some backtracking. It was just poor PR for them uh, to act like this. I understand the rules are what they are, um, and they are clearly stated there. But from her story, we'll see if there's a different side from them. Uh, the competition went on two hours late, uh, making it that she would probably miss her flight. Now, do you stay and get on the podium and collect your $300 or 300 euros, miss your flight, have to rebook one and spend all that money for that? No. Um, would it make sense for them to say, oh... We're gonna. Uh, I understand that the, the the competition went late. You had to get a flight. We'll send you the money. We'll send you your placard to put up in the gym. That's what they should have done. 
They didn't do that. There's still a chance for them to make it right. I know the PR is really bad, but if they all sign the backtrack, send her money, send her a plaque card. I will help uh, to minimize or minimize the effect that they had on their competition. Because if they want to go forward and be a, a sanctional, uh, you want the athletes to go there. They could be boycotted, and their sanctional will be done. So anyway, there's a quick news. My next video is going to be talking about the first sanctional of the year, with this, with it, which is in Ireland in the Filthy 50, 150. Um, we'll look at who's been invited to that, who's won on the leaderboard. So subscribe down below, uh, like this video, and we'll see you then. Thank you.